On the 14th of March 2019, Cyclone Idai, the worst climate disaster in Zimbabwe's recent history, caused havoc in the eastern part of the country. The heavy winds and rain resulted in deaths, unprecedented destruction to critical infrastructure, property and livelihoods. An estimated 54,000 households and 270,000 people in total were affected, especially in Chimanimani and Chipinge districts. We experienced the, the devastating cyclone in 2019 in March, and uh, a number of households lost uh, their homes. Cyclone Namanamasagata <laughs> Ma, ma, ma kaha akadona zimba zika pere kuparara takaji zocha ka imba kitchen ye uswa kwa kuchito gare moto to ungane mo kuti tono kubatsirwa ho the affected communities volunteered their time labor and resources to help each other repair damaged infrastructure and rebuild homes the government of china through the UNDP China South-South facility, in collaboration with UNDP Zimbabwe and the government of Zimbabwe, provided the volunteers with material and financial support to restore the damaged roofs. Econet Wireless implemented the project by giving technical oversight and support. So for us what is important, as I said, when we're looking at building back better, when we looked at the needs of the communities, it was housing. It was helping them rebuild their houses. There was enough uh, material, localized material to, re to reconstruct some of the houses, but the roofing materials had to, be, had to come from different places. Right? So that was the opportunity that we saw. The partnership, uh, as I said, we're very proud of, our first partnership with uh, the People's Republic of China. So everything was done with the community members themselves. I mean, the labor was coming from there, which is supervision and guidance by the team. And as I said, that crucial element of the roofing sheets that were missing, that couldn't be found in the, in the vicinity, was coming through our partnership. Last year, around March, there was a cyclone day. Um, when it came about, uh, a lot of the houses in there were damaged. Uh, they had their roofs damaged, some had their roofs blown off. And since then, most people don't have the financial capacity to actually repair their own roofs. So what we are doing, or our roles basically, is uh, assisting or rather repairing roofs for those who basically don't have the capacity financially or otherwise to repair their houses. The project procured and delivered roofing materials for the repairs of 10% of the 2,372 affected homes selected according to the most vulnerable households. The builders and carpenters who were sourced within the communities received training and trade tools to facilitate their work. So for our masons, we selected, we recruited builders, carpenters, and what we, know, what we call assistants, which are essentially those who assist the builders and the carpenters. Um, with builders and carpenters, we selected some, some of the semi-skilled people in the area. And with assistants, we selected those who wanted to work. And we didn't discriminate. We wanted both male and female uh, members of the community to pitch up. Inipendagatangakudiswashibule <laughs> Sakaka 
Esipa kutambira kwe edu, ndakato shuna shaka kwa zati ndito project kubirime o binzi. Ndakatenga mafetra ya unu empeo ye binzi. Mbanda sima ni maretino, ye tino tambiri kwa kubata kwa tino shanda. Shukuti izo zizu ndiru kuno kundikato veku no mpura chinaya ndiru ziyoti ndiru kuto opinde mba. Ndiru ku veku ndiru kunaya ndi chipinde mwa kanaka. Neana ndi chatikiri uti ndasia naega. Pakati pano naya ndiru shika ana anto tese maburangita ndi chatongo chitikiri. Yoti ndiru kupinde mba mwa kanaka. Guided by the basic human rights principles and safe building standards, the project gave the communities in Chipinge and Chimani Mani the much-needed hope and a place to start over again.